everyone. Welcome to today's free voice session with CVP Coaching, where we sing it like we mean it. I have forgotten to do that every single other time. Uh, today we're going to talk about, and yes, I'm looking over here so I can use my script. We're going to talk about pitches and tones today. Specifically, how understanding the difference between pitches and tones and how you use tones to help you achieve your pitches and increase your range uh, will help you with your singing, okay? So, um, if anyone is noticing, I'll just go ahead and point it out now that my mouth is acting really funny. Um, I'm not having a stroke. I came from the dentist at eight o'clock in the morning and I'm still a little bit numb. So, hopefully that's not too distracting. Okay. I am voice coach Lisa Marie and I transform passion I transform passionate singers into skilled engaging worshipers, performers. That's what I do. Now when I say contemporary singers, I'm not talking about our opera singers and our classical singers. Uh, they're over here on the side of the stage for us right now and they are more than welcome to join us if they are interested in learning how to sing contemporary style of music. Okay, so before we begin, I want to make sure that you get the most out of this session. So as always, make sure that you are standing, not sitting and watching or laying on your couch. Just go ahead and stand up. You've probably been on the couch for a while now. Next, I wanna make sure as much as possible that you have your phone uh, or whatever device you're using directly in front of you so that you are looking straight at me and not having to look down uh, when you're trying to engage your core for singing. Next, I want to make sure that you have space around you because sometimes we want to use our arms, believe it or not. You want to engage your entire body when you're singing. That's the difference between singing a song and delivering a song. And then finally, make sure, and it may be a little late for this this time, but make sure that you have chosen to watch this in a place where you can make noise comfortably and you're not worried about someone running in and asking you what you're doing or asking you to keep it down and be quiet, okay? I have a dedicated space here in my studio. I'm located in Bartlett and I have been doing this now here for five years. And my clients range everywhere. Hey, Billy. My clients range everywhere from uh, shower singers, worship leaders, choir members, recording artists, karaoke singers. So if you fit anywhere in that, in one of those categories, then you are in the right place for today's session. And again, we're going to talk about pitches and tones today, okay? So remember to check out any of the previous videos and then in the future, I'm gonna continue this all week long, every day at one o'clock. I'm so glad that you are joining me today. Anna, yay. Okay, so um, another thing I wanna ask is, uh, Make sure that you hit that wow button for me. Let me know anytime that you hear something that you did not know before, let me know that. Tell me what it was. Um, anytime you hear something that maybe you've heard many times and finally it made sense to you. Um, I've had over 300 clients in the last five years and they make me better because they say things in a way, sometimes they'll say something back to me in their own words that really resonates with other clients and so let me know what you're learning from today's session okay and even if you're watching this after it happens because I do go back and read the comments uh, after the fact and I will respond to you okay all right so hopefully you're standing up and today is going to be a lot less talking and a lot more singing okay so we are ready uh, go ahead and stand up and we always start in the same place regardless of experience if we take that breath in through our nose out through our mouth not how we not how we breathe for singing but just how we breathe right now okay so we take that breath in hey diane ha ah. remember we're gonna breathe in air and we exhale voice all right let's go ahead and do that again ha ah. great and as i said we're going to talk about pitches and tones and how we actually use tone to help us to acquire more pitches broadening our range and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take some of those voice exercises that we've done that were very elementary and we're going to expand on them. Okay. Hey Brandy, glad you could make it. So first thing we're going to do is I just want you to follow me. We just want you to follow me through. Okay. So we're going to start at the bottom or we're just going to glide up as we've done in the past. Okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, 
Okay, repeat what you hear. Ah, uh, with me. Ah, uh, now make sure, let's get our fingers out. Let's make sure that there is plenty of space between the upper and lower jaw. You know, I used to say that your dentist tells you to go ah, and your voice coach tells you to go ah, but I gotta be honest, after today, I'm pretty convinced your dentist wants you to say ah as well, okay? So it's ah. I really want you to lock this in today. This is the focus of today. We've talked about breathing. We've talked about enunciation. The focus today is placement. It is lock that jaw. Many of you may not realize that as you go up the scale, uh, what its singers have tendency to do is they'll go ah. Notice how the sound gets smaller. I'm losing those lows in my range. Ah, I don't want to do that because what's going to happen is I am going to hit the ceiling. Ah, okay. So, but if I lock my jaw in place, then I will be able to continue going. Ah, okay. See how that works? Because I didn't let go of my jaw. I didn't release my jaw. And I just want to say again, since we have a couple more people joining, that I can't went to the dentist this morning at 8.30, so my mouth is still a little numb. So that's why it's kind of going wanky on me and, and uh, sideways. Okay, I want you to repeat what you hear. Ah, with me. Ah, remember to put that together with your breathing. We breathe in air, exhale voice. Ah, breath is the first word of this phrase. The phrase is ah, with me, ah, okay, next, ah, ah, with me, ah, one more time, ah, now listen, listen to the how, I say this every time, You've got to listen to the how. Don't listen to the note. You'll hear the note. Remember, we talked about how the larynx learns from hearing. Okay, that was session one. The larynx learns from hearing. So it already knows the note as soon as it hears it. Okay? This is about how do I move? How do I progress? Okay? Uh, just a little small movement there. Uh, I'm still in my chest voice, my speaking voice. Uh, and if you have trouble finding it, then do this. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, okay, ah, uh, with me, ah, uh, now listen to how I shift just slightly, ah, uh, uh, hopefully you're noticing my shoulders engage, okay, do that with me again, ah, uh, that's our note, uh, are you hearing how I'm changing tones? Uh, all right, now we're gonna go up here. More artists struggle with middle voice than they do with head voice and chest voice. Okay, so I'm gonna explain the difference between head and chest voice, okay? All right, give me a give me a, a, a good wave and let me know that you're you're following me. Okay, you're ready to move on to this. So we're gonna talk about the difference between head voice and chest voice, and I'm gonna put it in really easy terms for you. Okay, all right. So over here I have my keyboard that I've mentioned that looks really great in here, even though I can't play it. And down here we have the lower keys, right? And then here is the middle keys, and then here are the higher keys, right? And so if I want to go from low to high. I could very easily do that, right? Now, I want you to imagine that we're gonna take that keyboard and we're going to stand it up like this. And the high notes are here and the low notes are here, okay? So, I have the high notes here, low notes here, and so this, we'll call this the middle because on a keyboard, the middle is not in the middle. The C, middle C is not in the middle. So this, so this works, so this is middle, okay? So this is our head voice, and this is our chest voice, and this is middle. Now, when I'm in my chest voice, that is my speaking voice. So I want everybody to place their hand on their chest, okay? And you're gonna go, ho. Oh. Okay, do that. 
Okay, one more time. I want you to pay attention to what you feel with your hand. Ho. Okay, you feel that? All right, so I'm laughing because I just know that my face is, my lips are going different directions. Same hand, very important, same hand. Place your hand on your forehead and I want you to feel. Ho. One more time. Ho. Now, where did you feel vibration more? Did you feel it more when you had your hand on your chest or when you had your hand on your head? Okay, put your answer in the notes even if I don't see it right away. Okay, you should feel it in your chest. Hopefully you remember to use the same hand. I always say same hand and people still go like this on me, okay? Same hand, if you didn't, then go ahead and do that exercise again, okay? Because your voice is resonating in your chest when you are singing from your chest, that's why we call it chest voice, okay? Very good, awesome, Billy. Okay, now, I want you to imagine that you have this keyboard between your eyebrows and your chest. Okay, awesome, very good, everyone's doing great. So between your eyebrows and your chest, okay? Now, so sound comes out of our mouth, but it resonates where it initiates, where it originates is somewhere within this keyboard, this keyboard that you have in here, okay? So I always like to paint this picture of like, here's your keyboard between your eyebrows and your chest, and your, your larynx is very quickly, as quickly as a computer can generate letters uh, and numbers, um, your larynx goes through and it hits these different notes as you sing these different notes, okay? And it's very fast and it's, um, it, it, does, it doesn't have to think about it. It just automatically, instinctively knows. The same way that I'm speaking to you right now, and I'm not speaking monotone like this, but there's tone, there's inflection, I'm going up and I'm going down. I don't have to think about how to do that, right? It just happens, okay? And I think it, I think the emotion, I think the expression, and then my voice follows suit and it goes where I want it to go, okay? This is what I mean when I talk about how every one of us, we have way more singing skills than we realize because we have speaking skills. We have communication skills, okay? Remember, singing is the drama queen of emotional communication, okay? So uh, I'm sure every single one of you knows how to let people know when you're sad with your voice, right? I'm sure you know how to let people know when you are angry, and you, let, you know how to let people know that you're happy, right? You're surprised. All of those are ex expressions that are, that are um, motivated by our emotions, okay? And we take that, you wanna take all of those skills, those communication skills, and you want to bring them over here to your singing skills and file them away in your singing folder that hopefully is becoming more, more folders and more folders, okay? And it's getting its whole, you're realizing that your singing skills need their own drawer now, okay? Because there are so many that you didn't realize before, okay? Let me know if that makes sense to you. Okay, so, <clears throat> Excuse me. I know I keep touching my face, but I'm home. I'll wash my hands when I'm done. Okay. All right. So we were talking about our head voice and our chest voice and you notice the difference. Now, uh, I like to call it our vocal chemistry set. Okay, it's not these guys over here that I've talked about our classical singers and our opera singers. I've mentioned before that they really love to spend quite a bit of time in their head voice. They're beautiful, we all have a beautiful head voice and they really like to spend some time in that head voice, okay? Us over here as contemporary singers, we like our head voice as a little accent moment, okay? We like to maybe, ooh, 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 okay? Put a little something nice on there. But really, we wanna just take our chest voice up as high as it'll go before we surrender to that head voice, okay? Is that does that resonate with you? Okay, is that, can you hear that? When you think back, I want you to think back on your favorite singers and your assignment for this week, or for today I should say, uh, is to always go back and listen to your favorite singers on this topic. I want you to notice that a lot of um, artists will say to me, you know, I don't know the difference really between head and chest voices. Is chest as high, is head voice high and chest is low? No, uh, yes and no. Because some singers can be very, very high I'm thinking of Panic at the Disco. Uh, I'm thinking of Adina Mendez, um, Tori Kelly, lots of these artists that they can go very, very high. And there are hundreds and hundreds more that I didn't mention. 
and they are not in head voice yet and we don't even realize it we just assume it's head voice i will say it is a head voice dominant blend okay but still they're up in that range but it's not night and day it's not a light switch that we just flip chest voice and head voice okay it's really more of that little chemistry set so hopefully this will make sense to you okay so I, can you see my arms here okay so i want you to imagine that this is chest voice and this is head voice now this is chest voice not because it's on the bottom end it's chest voice because it's on a scale i'm singing in my chest voice right now and that's why this arm is down because chest voice is the dominant voice right now okay so as i come up i'm using a little bit less chest voice i'm coming up the scale okay and this side is coming down and somewhere not not perfectly even here but before i even get there right around here i'm going to have to blend these out in order for my voice to continue up the scale and as i go up the scale chest is still present to a certain extent and then eventually it's going to be all head voice okay so it's there's no more chest voice present in that okay all right so we're going to talk about how to do that all right do you guys know how to do that let's go ahead and try that okay so again we're going to go back to our exercises we're going to go Oh, go ahead and try that with me. Oh, how'd you do? Let me know if you're getting there. Okay, let me know if you're hitting the ceiling. So this would be hitting the ceiling. Oh, I'm hitting the ceiling. I can't break through. And some people will say, see, that's as high as I can sing. I, I can't sing any higher. Ah, okay, that is not correct. All right. So that is me straining for it. That is me not releasing chest voice, not allowing a blend, my little chemistry set, my little vocal chemistry set to come in and to blend in some head voice so that I can keep going. Ah, do that with me. Ah, okay. Now I am gonna blend when I end that, okay? So uh, I'm gonna come up to the other side now and we've done this in previous sessions, so hopefully this will be familiar to you. We're going to uh, impersonate our owl. We're going to tap into our inner owl, okay? Because the owl gives us our proper shape for head voice, okay? Man, I hope I can do this. Uh, for those of you who tuned in late, I was at the dentist this morning, and so my mouth was still a little bit numb and going crooked and wanky on me. So let's see if I can do this. Okay, so we're going to take a big breath. We're going to engage our core, all right? And it shouldn't sound like... Uh, a coyote, it should sound like an owl, okay? Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Okay, you go. All right, how's it going? Do you feel like you got your owl? Ooh, ooh. My room really resonates. Okay, so let me tell you something. Uh, something about yawning. Maybe you've heard this before, but when you yawn, I mean like when you really yawn from now on, take advantage of that shape, all right? That shape is the perfect shape for how it should feel anytime you were in your upper range, even if you're in high chest voice or you're in your head voice, okay? That, that shape it kind of feels like all the muscles in your in your neck and in your throat they're kind of backing out of the way okay they're stretching up against the walls and that's exactly what you want whenever you uh, are up in your head voice okay uh, one and one analogy that my besties uh, in San Diego Natalie that she told me and I didn't like it at all when she said it and then I told my clients and they all loved it so this is in honor of Natalie, uh, voice coach in San Diego. And uh, she said to imagine if you have an egg in the back of your throat. You're trying to make room. I just say make room for the egg. We don't know. We're not actually going to have the egg. But I want you to make room for that egg, okay? Again, talking about shape. We're trying to learn how to lock that shape in place, all right? So it's hoo with me. hoo Okay, how'd you do? Doing good? All right, now we're gonna let that out. Oh, I'm sorry, no, first we're gonna, uh, this is our Marine Corps owl, so it's hoo right? So that owl is giving us our shape and we wanna return to that shape immediately. hoo hoo With me. hoo One more time. Are you getting it? Now 
Now make sure it doesn't sound like this. That means that you're surrendering. You're giving up the shape. Okay, you got to hold on to that shape. Lock that jaw in place. Okay, now we're going to move through tones. Notice I'm not hitting the floor. I've had lots of clients tell me that they hit the floor when they do that, or I've watched them do that. Okay, so do it with me now. One more time, we want to land right there. Okay, everybody go. That's my chest voice. You can tell because it sounds just like my speaking voice. Okay. With me. Great. Good job. Okay. Let's see. Oh, all right. So now uh, I'm going to show you an exercise that one of my friends showed me online and I just love it. Um, it is Brett Smith from uh, Shine Down. And for whatever reason, he decided to make a warm up video. And so we're all grateful for that because he's phenomenal. Uh, he is definitely one of those singers that can bring his chest voice up really high without having to surrender that to head voice. And then just use head voice for a little little moment, okay? All right, now, so we're going to go like this, okay? Um, I call this the caveman, okay? I'm sure there's lots of names for it, but I call this the caveman, okay? Oh, ooh, ah. Listen again. What I want you to notice is I'm not going, ooh, ah. I'm not surrendering my lows in order to come up to that slightly higher range, okay? Oh, Okay, I am really dropping my jaw. Do that with me. Ah, ooh, ah. Hey, Catherine. Hope you're doing this with me. All right, do this again. Ah, ooh, ah. Very good. Okay, uh, next I call this the guy celebration because this is how guys celebrate whenever they do something real guyish. Okay. Notice again, the lows stay present all the way up. I'll do it again. I also want you to notice, hopefully you can see the corners of my mouth, uh, even though I'm still numb from the dentist. Okay, so watch. Hey. Do that with me. Hey. All right, do that with me. Hey. Awesome. Now, why am I popping the corners of my mouth? Well, because if I don't, it's going to go, it's going to lock in a, a former tone and it's going to stay kind of dark like this. See, it's just not pleasant. I don't even want to finish it. Okay. So instead, I want to keep it bright. I want to keep my voice able to continue to move up. So let's do that again and make sure you pop the corners of your mouth, which means you smile, you get that scrunchy smile. Okay. Once you get toward the top, once you notice the tone start to change a little bit and it stays a little bit dark, you don't want it to do that. Okay. So let's do that. Let's go. Hey, very good. Hey, Anthony. All right. So. Uh, we are, let's see, should I do the next one? Um, yeah, we're going to try this, okay? So this is all. We're going to stay in that chest voice. We're going to take that chest voice up for middle voice, all right? So we're going to go, hey! Hey, Rebecca, glad you could join us. All right, so listen to me. Hey! Now notice, I'm not, again, I'm not giving up my lows in order to hit that i'm not and i'm also not straining for it now if you're like well i have to strain for it it's not in my range you have a different range than me no i don't okay not necessarily you can do this i'm going to show you how okay so i call this recite for rehearsal and I'll, I'll explain it later but right now i just want you to repeat what you hear we are not singing take singing put it over on the shelf we're just going to talk okay so we're going to go hey like a real big expression. I told you that singing is the drama queen of emotional communication, okay? So imagine you're just seeing somebody and for whatever reason you care to express yourself like this. And you go, hey! All right, let's do that together. Hey! You can do that, right? All right, good. Got to catch my breath. I think I need a little bit of water. Hold on one second. Okay. Now we're going to go back and we're going to attempt. So we're going to, first we're going to say it one more time and then we'll sing it, okay? Hey! 
All right, like you're really impressed with someone. Okay, next we're gonna we're gonna sing that, and it goes, hey, do that with me, hey, one more time, hey. All right, tell me, a, give me a good hey in the notes if you're able to do that. Okay, uh, and if you're struggling with it, let me know that too, and I can go into more explanation of that. Okay, so here's what I want you to understand. Whenever I talk about our vocal chemistry set, I want you to understand that when you are singing, notice how when I'm talking, again, I mentioned how I'm kind of going up and down the scale uh, with my emotional expression, and I'm just talking. My voice always finds the center of whatever tone that I'm aiming for right? I never sound like I'm straining when I'm talking to you right now. Neither do you. I'm sure you're able to speak to people and you can get as animated as you want and your voice is always going to find the center of that tone that you're choosing to speak in, right? Do you agree with me? Okay. The same is true for singing. You just have to trust it, okay? Uh, this would be the point where I wish I had it on my screen, so I'm just gonna have to say it. Oh, I think I have it written down right here. Um, it says, there is no thinking in singing. I have to cover this every single time. There's no thinking in singing. If you start to think about the tone that you're aiming for, you won't hit it. You might go sharp, you might go flat. Sharp would mean that this is the note I'm going for, and sharp means I'm just above it, and then flat means I'm just below it, okay? so. You want to make sure that you are right on the right on the note, okay? And if you think about the note, you will not hit the note. If you think about it in a negative way, typically when we wonder whether or not we're going to hit it, we typically lean toward the negative. Anytime we wonder how good we're going to do at something, we typically lean toward the negative. So if you wonder if you're going to hit it, you can think about the note. If you wonder if you're going to hit it, you probably won't. Okay, you're probably going to overshoot it if it's high because you'll be thinking this is high and you'll go right over it. Okay, uh, or you won't put enough behind it because you were nervous and the, your breath stole your air, uh, your nervousness stole your breath. And so then you didn't have enough air to hit the note and that's why you went flat. That's typically why people go sharp and flat. It's not really because they have trouble with their ears. Uh, I know this because I have clients come in when I first meet them and we run through a whole bunch of vocal exercises and sometimes it's a little bit of a train wreck. They're just not able to duplicate the simplest thing that I'm doing. So if, that's what, if that was you today or in previous videos, don't feel bad. That's very common. It means, it doesn't mean that you can't sing. It means that you were thinking about it, okay? Because halfway through the session when we put on their song of choice that they want to sing, all of a sudden this amazing singer comes out and I'm like, wow, I'm totally blown away and they're, they're able to sing really well, okay? So back to our tones and our pitches, okay? So pitches go up and down, all right? And then our tones go this way. So let me get into a little more detail about that, okay? So pitch, as I said, pitch, so if I go up, oh, oh, I'm going up in range and then I'm going down in range. I'm using different pitches to go up and down in range, okay? Tones are the keys that unlock your ability to go up in pitch and down in pitch. As I said before, when I go on, I get stuck. It's because I didn't change tones. I did not allow my voice to naturally continue to glide through and land in the middle of the next tone. If you go ah, if you're straining and you're going, hey, that means that you are trying to use the tone just below the tone that you need. Okay, again, don't think about it, just say it. Hey, that's if that's your note, you just say your, your lyrics in the pitch of the song. Okay, so if it's, hey, everybody, okay, and you're having trouble hitting it, and you say, hey, everybody, say that with me, hey, everybody, okay, now more than likely, you can say that. Say that with me again. Hey, everybody, all right? If you can say it, you can sing it, and the way you say it is the way you sing it. Is this making sense? I need a thumbs up. Let me know that this is making sense to you because we're gonna go, hey, everybody, one more time. Good, now we're gonna sing it. Hey, everybody, hey, everybody. That's where it is. Hey, everybody, sing that with me. Hey, everybody. All right, how'd you do? Awesome, good, good job. Okay, so we have covered 
our range, right? We've covered our, this is our, this is our full range. We have this keyboard in between our eyebrows and our chest. This is our head voice, awesome. This is our head voice, this is our chest voice. We have middle voice in here. We're not gonna call it neck voice, it's our middle voice. And we achieve middle voice by blending out that head and chest voice. It's so important that you understand this and that you practice it. And the best way to practice it is to take out your favorite lyrics. One, of course, is to listen to your favorite singers who sing really high in their chest voice because the larynx learns from hearing. And don't sing along because then you'll flip in a head voice. Don't sing what you think they're saying. Sing, uh, don't sing what you think they're singing. Make sure that you sing, you actually hear how they're actually doing it, okay? And the second way is to get out some of your favorite lyrics and just read them out loud and get the melody in your head and read them. Make, make sure you're taking those starter breaths and those catch breaths. You're over enunciating, you're glocking where necessary. If some of these words aren't familiar to you, these terms, go back and watch previous videos, okay? And as long as you are reading that song, recite for rehearsal, you're reciting it out loud, uh, following the melody and following the tempo, you will be able to sing those very difficult um, middle range notes, okay? All right, does anybody have any questions i'm seeing lots of agreements lots of little thumbs up that's wonderful so glad okay so please uh like share actually wow this video if you would that would be really helpful to me and i hope that you're enjoying it go back watch previous videos if you haven't seen them uh, move forward and, and stay with me be here every day at one o'clock central time right here on this channel and let me see if I missed anything. Um, I do have a YouTube channel if you're interested, Voice Coach Lisa Marie. My website is CVP Coaching. And I uh, hope that you will continue to come back with me. Thanks so much. Lord bless all of you. Have a great day.